بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبینا محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ what should a person do if they are tried مفتون with the sin of masturbation and if they find that they find themselves addicted to this behavior Ahabatifillah it's very important to understand that in most cases when a person is tried with this fitna and that this fitna is very widespread in the Muslim community and throughout the world that when a person is tried with this fitna, this test, this struggle, this struggle with their desires, that more often than not, you will find that they struggle with something else, such as pornography, in its various forms. Because this is what encourages, this is what increases a person's desire to fall into that behavior. So first is distancing dis distancing oneself from those things which encourage one to do that muharram, that encourage one to masturbate. So if it requires keeping good company around you as much as possible, and when you're alone having those child protection devices on your computer or programs which prevent you from watching those things. Because again, you're fighting your nefs. You're fighting your own desires. And the reward is great for the one who can overcome his or her nefs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he will give this person Jannah. But how does this, how do we reflect upon this when we're in our times of weakness, you're by yourself, when you're depressed, when you find various struggles which encourage you to seek refuge in that behavior because this is what happens, that the people become dependent upon that activity and they go and return back to pornography and they return back to uh, that behavior even if they have made toba from it. This is why the ulama mention also as Imam Anawawi mentions in Riyadh al-Salihin about the stages of toba or the shurut of toba, the conditions for toba, the conditions for repentance being one of them being that you feel sorrow, and often the people feel sorrow. But having the azima to not return to that, that is what tends to prevent us from making this toba. Because a lot of times with that behavior, that addiction becomes stronger when the person's emotions are fluctuating. So then they return back to pornography. They return back to looking at that, which is Muharram, because it's an escape. As drugs are an escape, as alcohol is an escape, that this is a type of escape where that desire will not deny you when you close your door and you engage in it, when you turn on the film, when you look at what's on your computer, when you look at what's on the television, wherever you find those activities and you find your refuge and it's a refuge shaitaniya but it exists and it is real and it's very real for you so as the ulama say azima that you have to have determination true determination and only you can truly determine or truly have that determination to quit that action. I know many people 
who struggled with various addictions, whether it be for many men, when we come to Islam, the difficulty is leaving off dating women and loving women. And for many, some, it is drugs and alcohol. And for some, it's greed or some other sin that's a major sin that they have difficulty leaving. It attaches itself to it, it attaches to the desires. And it doesn't come overnight, but it's that constant being persistent in striving to fight that and being determined to one day determine, I'm gonna walk away from this. I'm better than this. I'm gonna be a true believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm gonna leave off this evil. So you have to have a real determination that you don't want that. That temporary leather, that temporary fulfillment and that temporary love for that fulfillment. It's temporary. It lasts one minute. It lasts five minutes. It lasts 30 minutes, perhaps. The point is, is it's deceptive because the sorrow that you feel, the physical pain you may endure from being excessive in, in masturbation and those kind of activities, uh, and, and, and doing all of those things, it causes you physical, mental, and spiritual pain. So you already know. That's why I'm not overemphasizing and going to a lot of texts to try to necessarily put the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in you because you know. We all know that it's Muharram. And the believer already feels sorrow when they do. And the believer always tries to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it's just the fact of having that true determination. On top of that, you need a bedal. You need that which will replace that muharram. So if the person is not married, then they should strive to gain the means to marry. If it's a male, then be in search of rizq so you can take care of a wife. And hopefully you will be able to satisfy your desires within your marital bond. Where it becomes greatly problematic is when you have people who are married and they engage in this activity and they find an addiction and they find that corruption of the heart. So again, they have to check themselves. They have to de determine themselves and they have to do that which is within their marriage to strengthen and help them fight that shaitan, the whisperings of the shaitan and their own desires. So determination again, ahabatifillah and tawakkal ala Allah and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ulama mentioned about tawakkal, a tawakkal ittimad ala Allah wa fi'la asbab that tawakkal is relying strictly upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taking the means to fulfill that. So the one who struggles with masturbation, they must be determined to leave it and really make, take steps. Lock your computer down. Do your best not to be alone often. And when you're alone, make sure you have those child protection devices on your computer or, or to prevent you from that activity and doing all of the things absolutely necessary because you know you have a real disease you're fighting. You must strive. Put all the blocks in place and then rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then make lots of dua, lots of istighfar, and also take the halal means to have your enjoyment and your fulfillment within the marital bonds the marital bond that Allah Azza wa Jal has given you. And the other conditions of Tawbah, Habitifillah, along with that sorrow, along with the azima, the determination, is also removing oneself from that desire and stopping the sin. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us all from the evil of our nafs and protect us all from the whisperings of the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala make things easy for our brothers and sisters in Islam who struggle with their various struggles that we all face and that we all have to fight.
wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam